I'm Christy Nicola, born July of 1962, rendering me 32 years of age. I was a subject in radiation as well as mind control and drug experiments performed by a man I knew as Dr. Green. My parents were divorced around 1966 and Donald Richard Ebner, my natural father, was involved with Dr. Green in the experiments. I was a subject from 1966 to 1976. Dr. Green performed radiation experiments on me in 1970, focusing on my neck, throat, and chest, 1972, focusing on my chest and my uterus in 1975. Each time I became dizzy, nauseous, and threw up. All these experiments were performed on me in conjunction with mind control techniques and drugs in Tucson, Arizona. Dr. Green was using me mostly as a mind control subject from 1966 to 1973. His objective was to gain control of my mind and train me to be a spy assassin. The first significant memory took place at Kansas City University in 1966. Don Ebner took me there by plane when my mom was out of town. I was in what looked like a laboratory and there seemed to be other children. I was strapped down, naked, spread eagle, on a table, on my back. Dr. Green had electrodes on my body, including my head. He used what looked like an overhead projector and repeatedly said he was burning different images into my brain while a red light flashed aimed at my forehead. In between each sequence, he used electric shock on my body and told me to go deeper and deeper, deeper while repeating each image would go deeper into my brain and I would do whatever he told me to do. I felt drugged because he had given me a shot before he started the procedure. When it was over, he gave me another shot. The next thing I remember, I was with my grandparents again in Tucson, Arizona. I was four years old. You can see from this experiment that Dr. Green used trauma, drugs, post-hypnotic suggestion, and more trauma in an effort to gain total control of my mind. He used me in radiation experiments both for the purposes of determining the effects of radiation on various parts of my body and to terrorize me as an additional trauma in the mind control experiments. The rest of the experiments took place in Tucson, Arizona, out in the desert. I was taught how to pick locks, be secretive, use my photographic memory, and a technique to withhold information by repeating numbers to myself. Dr. Green moved on to wanting me to kill dolls that look like real children. I stabbed a doll with a spear once after being severely traumatized, but the next time I refused. He used many pain induction techniques, but as I got older, I resisted more and more. He often tied me down in a cage, which was near his office. Between 1972 and 1976, he and his assistants were sometimes careless and left the cage unlocked. <coughs> Whenever physically possible, I snuck into his office and found files with reports and memos addressed to CIA and military personnel. Included in these files were project, subproject, subject, and experiment names with some code numbers for radiation and mind control experiments, which I have submitted in your written documentation. I was caught twice, and Dr. Green ruthlessly used electric shock drugs, spun me on a table, put shots in my stomach, in my back, dislocated my joints, and hypnotic techniques to make me feel crazy and suicidal. Because of my rebellion and growing lack of cooperation, they gave up on me as a spy assassin. Consequently, the last two years, 1974 to 1976, Dr. Green used various mind control techniques to reverse the spy assassin messages to self-destruct and death messages. His purpose? He wanted me dead, and I struggled to stay alive all of my adult life. All of my adult life. I believe it is by the grace of God that I am still alive. These horrible experiments have profoundly affected my life. I developed multiple personality disorder because Dr. Green's goal 
was to split my mind into as many parts as possible so he could control me totally. He failed, but I've had to endure years of constant physical, mental, and emotional pain even to this day. I've been in therapy consistently for 12 years, and it wasn't until I found my current therapist two and a half years ago who had knowledge of the mind control experiments that I've finally been able to make real progress and begin to heal. In closing, I ask that you keep in mind that the memories I've described are but a glimpse of the countless others that took place over the 10 years between 1966 and 1976. That they weren't just radiation, but mind control and drug experiments as well. I have included more detailed information of what I remember in your written documentation. Please help us by recommending an investigation and making the information available so that therapists and other mental health professionals can help more people like myself. I know I can get better. I am getting better. And I know others can too, with the proper help. Please help us in an effort to prevent these heinous acts from continuing in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.